feature presentation. Hey guys, Kai here, and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 ugliest slash cheesiest logos. The logos on this list must have bad animation, just look ugly. Music won't be as important in this video, but if it's weird, I will still talk about it. As well as the color scheme must look ugly. Anyways, let's get into number 10. Number 10 is Zombastic Productions. This logo is really cheesy. The CGI looks like crap and the skeleton looks cheesy. This logo is just cringe. This color, the color scheme for Zombastic Productions also looks ugly. I find this logo looks the best off this list, so that's why it's number 10, but it still is cheesy and looks like crap. Anyways, let's get into number 9. This is National Educational Television. Do I have to explain why this logo is ugly and cheesy? The logo is on a background which looks like a bad carpet. There is no animation and it's in black and white. The announcer only says this is National Educational Television. And it's just a very boring logo. It is also that the carpet looks very ugly and it's said black and white obviously, so that's why it's on this list. It's ugly, the background, and the NET logo itself is ugly. This is an older logo, so that's why it's not higher, but anyways, let's get into number 8. <laughs> God, this logo is bad. Number 8 has to be FHE or Family Home Entertainment. Just as a little honorable mention, their second logo is also awful. But this one is worse. So what happens is the logo is there's a, there's a space background and then this really bad sun in quotes because it doesn't look like a sun. Like CLG Wiki said, it looks more like stock footage of a fizzing Alka Skelter tablet on a green screen tinted purple than anything else. And then, then the letters or word Family Home Entertainment pop up inside yellow and purple, which look ugly. And then they turn, then the words turn into white, which looks even more ugly. And the font changes a little bit, and then it goes back to the space background. It just looks like crap and is super ugly. Not to mention, the music sounds like crap. I can make a better sounding soundtrack in five minutes than that. Anyways, let's go into number seven. Oh my god, this logo looks like crap. Number 7 has to be 3G Home Video. This company made public domain crap cartoons backside the late 80s and early 90s. I'd mention the volume of this logo, but it was proven false in how loud it is, but it still looks like crap. 
This anime looks like garbage because it zooms in and it looks ugly. The color choice is also bad. It's just blue on a black screen. This logo is just ugly. Anyways, let's go into number six. Number six has to be KLRN. This logo is on a weird wood beige background, and the words KLRN look really bad and ugly. Then Austin, Texas pops up in a blue outline, and it does not fit in with the background, so it looks ugly. Like, what were they thinking about this logo? Thank God they only used this logo for two years. Also the note, the music is super strange. Anyways, let's get into number five. What do I even have to begin with? The color scheme and background looks bad, but the main part about it being ugly is the CGI. The guy running looks extremely ugly and it cuts to a different frame and the ground moves faster than the guy that's running. They used this logo in 2009. If this was just a logo used for two years, it would have been not the worst. But in 2009, there was a standard about animation. Anyways, let's get into number four. This logo starts with an ugly mountain, then the stars and the word Paramount home video zoomed up in a greenish color, and it looks ugly. Then it stays still for the rest of the logo. I have to say, this is the scariest Paramount home video logo. The logo has some really intense and scary music. The logo looks ugly though, so that's why it's number 4, and let's get into number 3. This logo is very long, I had to shorten it and cut it into pieces. This logo has really bad animation that looks ugly and can give people epileptic seizures. Did I also mention that it is very cheesy? It is a very boring and useless logo. After all, you don't need to use flashing lights in a logo, it's very useless. And it's boring because it's 1 minute and 40 seconds and it has fireworks and stuff like that. Like who wants to see that in a logo? It also could have been 10 seconds, not 1 minute and 40 seconds. But yeah, this logo is ugly and that's why it is number 3. And anyways, let's get into number 2.
This logo starts with a cheesy, ugly space background as eyes, which look scary, pop up badly green screen onto the stars, then really ugly planets pop up two times. Then finally, the really poorly faded Vatamon logo pops up and it looks ugly. The camera quality and VHS quality also looks like crap. That is why it is number two. Anyways, let's get into number one. What do I have to say about these two logos? Let's start off with UNC TV. This logo has the worst color scheme ever. Just look at it. Purple and green don't match well with black. The scanimation looks ugly today and some of the letters are not even readable. Now let's get to the worst logo ever made, KWSU. This logo is the bane of my existence. This logo looks ugly as hell. First of all, it looks like K-U-S-U, not K-W-S-U. How could they mess that up? Then the animation, which could give people seizures, looks very ugly. Then it's gone, and it looks nothing like K-W-S-U at all. It literally has one letter right. Not to mention, the music is scary, and it makes it cheesy and scary. These two logos piss me off, especially the K-W-S-U logo. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a while since I've made a new vlogo video because I've been very busy with my life, but I'm planning to make them more often now, and I decided to release this one today. Please like and subscribe, and rip headphone users now.